I want to talk about the derivative of linear functions. So let's recall what a linear function is. A linear function is a function of the form f of x equals mx plus b. Now, the derivative is going to start with the definition of the derivative. So f prime of x equals the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. And I usually begin finding the derivative by looking at the difference quotient. So let's find and simplify the difference quotient. Now in this case, our f of x is mx plus b. So f of x plus h is going to be m times x plus h plus b. m times the quantity x plus h plus b. And then I subtract from that f of x, so that's minus mx plus b, and I divide that by h. So let's distribute the m. I get mx plus mh, oops, mh plus b minus, and I have to distribute this minus sign over both of these terms, so minus mx and minus b, all of that over h. Now take a look. We've got some cancellation here. The mx cancels, and the b's cancel. And so we're left with mh over h. And you even get cancellation there. The h's cancel, leaving just m. So the whole difference quotient, f of x plus h minus f of x over h, simplifies to m. So this limit becomes the limit as h approaches 0 of the constant m. And that's just m. And that kind of makes sense, that, that the derivative of a linear function should just be m, the slope of the line. right? Because the derivative gives us the slope of a, of a curve at any point. And so the slope of a line at any point should be m. Now another way to say this relationship between the linear function and its derivative is that the derivative with respect to x of mx plus b is m. This is the derivative of a linear function.